I think they should use the fecundity next time. That's awesome. <laughs> um, it was funny, I was thinking about what you and Lindsay were saying about, you know, the 3 day novel contest and the 48 hours, and I remember when I saw this, and it's like, oh my god, you have 48 hours to write a poem, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I do this all the time. <laughs> I write a poem, like, the day of something that I'm supposed to do. I'm like, no problem, I've got this down. But it was pretty challenging. Um, I just want to confirm, I understand that uh, Barbara Bidella wasn't able to make it, is that right? Okay, so she was one that was going to be here. So um, we're gonna move on to Tara Wolberg to come up. Thank you for organizing this again. I hate microphones, but I will, I will make it be my friend. Um, I've done the contest, I guess, the past five or six years. Uh, I have to say, these words, putative, I was familiar with, but in the context of court documents, in terms of the putative father, uh, in terms of custody cases. So I was sort of curious, and I thought, oh, interesting. But the words this time were not as bad as three years ago. Etoliate. Does anybody remember etoliate? I'm like, photosynthesis of a leaf creating chlorophyll, seriously? That was good. So, uh, here's my approach to putative as well. Uh, the music lesson. It's probably not true, the versions you reconstruct, retell yourself, reorder the past, squared off like a Lego house, Glossy, primary colors too slick for circles or games of tag. A childish escape, unlocked and loose in its reality. It's probably just the facts make this a trip yet a trap. His vanity worn like a coat of arms, muscling his way down the sorority hallway in search of hookups without a hang-up. Although we didn't call them that in the 80s haze of potpourri and Whitney Houston getting so emotional. <laughs> Now's probably not the best moment to remember what a wolf he had been, some kind of putative expert on extended techniques. She knew it was wrong of him to flick her hair off her face during her lesson, need to see what you're feeling, as she hacked her way through her sonata. Despite the hot blush of moral anger, this surge of verboten and ego booster she couldn't help but feel proud of. This mem, cliched times of scandal embedded in her vibrato, his signature tune. But it's probably just as rude of you to barge in on this poem right now. It was always this way with him. So if you poor dear this young woman, don't forget, she gets writer's cramp in every recounting. Oh. Woo! 